Oh, Safa. Oh, she's so ecstatic, too. To be that free, you know, that spontaneous, serendipitous, uh, yeah, not bounded, not chained up, like in those uh, sex clubs in San Francisco, to just kind of, you know, give the gift that keeps on spurting. She's just like, yeah, oh, kind of liberated me, too. She just reclines on the divan. Oh, she's holding up that exquisite antique ankle bracelet that Pasha really turned her on to. That's what, yeah, that was the, uh -huh, to get in there. Uh, uh, she, oh, where's a sphinx? Uh, um, mm. Well, she rises slowly. I mean, it takes a long time. She's so... And uh, yet, a, a tuff prints in the sand. Sounds so romantic, doesn't it? Uh, around the tuff uh, turret. And, oh, there's Sphinx, you know, leaning against the rolls. And well, there's only Pasha left, alone. He hasn't been able to move. Still flat on his back in the tuff. He gazes. Oh, look at the clouds. <laughs> oh, phantasmagoria. Oh, oh, look. That one looks like a camel. Oh. Um, now, so, uh, oh, I'm blown away, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What happened? Selfless, transcendent, sexual gift? Compassion from the lesbian? I mean, he's always wanted to get in on that since they met on the plane in Thessaloniki. You know nothing about that yet, do you? How they met? I mean, even like what Pasha's personality is like. You don't even know that he's Turkish up to now. You want to give you too much front loaded, huh? Got to save some of the juicy bits. You know, a little here, a little there. You know, garlic, you know, goes a long way in a salad. Well, oh, so, look, he has to kind of wake him. Look, man, uh, hmm. You're supposed to be on a road trip with a couple of friends? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, he gets up, <laughs> pulls up his pants. Oh, it feels so good down there. Um, and, oh, there's the rolls. Oh, and, um, yeah, the Sphinx of the caravan offers him a flaming hookah of, yeah, assassin edges. Yeah, spilling over with chunks, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. And what Sphinx now attends Pasha as if he were the sultan and as if Sphinx himself were the the, the sultan's butler? Well, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Sphinx recognizes... Oh. Hmm. Pasha's true essence. He opens the back door of the Phantom Rolls. For Pasha, whispering, May I serve you, my lord? Well, road trip. Everybody's so mellowed up by now. Huh? Stopped at the power spot of Sphinx, yeah, bequeathed to him by his guru, Omar the Dustmaster, when he was 12 years old. Initiated them, them, them there. He stopped there on the way to the Kamakli Catacomb. Oh, well, that was a good idea. Yeah. Well, here he go. Pulls up to the most fun place. He. <laughs> You could stay in Cappadocia back in the day, huh? back in the 60s. Hippie Palms Pension. Hostel. 
a, a compassionate hostel. And the the dustmaster is, and it's right across from the entrance to the Kamakli catacombs, the Prairie Dog City that Sphinx burned himself down into. And without another word, well, he did he did wash up first. Um, and he changed into a silk uh, Lawrence of Arabian outfit, you know, silk Bedouin robe, Aladdin slippers, fancy silk turban. I mean, he's... And... Where'd he go? Oh, 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 he... He, he disappears into the blackness of the catacomb. I mean, it's pitch black night here now. Uh to search for his dying guru. Well, that's almost a relief to Pashin Safa, all this drama. I mean, rooms here are only a dollar each, so they each get a private room. <sighs> and hopefully, a good night's sleep. Ooh.